Happy Friday! Happy Friday! It's Friday, which means it's the weekend. Before the weekend, though, we've got some science and engineering just for you. How are you doing? Welcome to the show. If you're new here, hi. If you're not new here, you know how this works. We're going to do a science experiment today and we're going to say hi. That was from Journey, a little penguin. You may have noticed that Peckers the penguin has joined us again today and Peckers is kitted out with some Nano Girl Lab specs because, you know, safety first. So little Nano Girl Lab glasses for Peckers. Thank you, Peckers. If you're new here, super easy. We're going to do a science experiment. I'm going to show you everything you need for today. Also, if you want a shout out and your parents or your grown-ups are watching on Facebook, they can type your name, your age and where you're from in the comments below and we'll try and say hi. If you're watching on YouTube, we're just going to say hi anyway because sorry there are no comments on YouTube. So hi everybody, welcome to Friday. We're back on Monday so don't worry we're still here but today's experiment is going to be pretty fun. Now before we get started, why don't we take a look at some photos that were sent in by you overnight showing some of the experiments that you've been doing this week. Let's take a look. Who have we got? We have Rourke and Matilda in Weymouth doing the forensic science from yesterday and Drenice and Katha who are in Hobsonville also doing the forensic science and Amelia in Auckland doing forensic. That's a lot of different colours, Amelia. And another Amelia but in Lower Hut. Look at those colours. I like your pink one. Wow, Ruby in Queenstown back again. I love those colours. Look at that one in the middle. It's got so many different colours on there. So yesterday we learned about chromatography. Today we're going to be learning about catapults. But before we learn about catapults, who wants a shout out? Does anybody want to say hi to me today? Shall we have a look at who's on the screen? Hi another girl from Amelia in Waiuku. Love your shows. Hi Amelia. Hi from a super excited paper play fan, Calvin and Sister Briar. I'm excited too. These are super, super planes. Hi Nana Girl from Lucas. I've been watching for the whole week now. Hi Lucas. Now Lucas, if you don't remember, is the person who named Peckers Peckers. So thank you Lucas. Who else do we have? Hi from Deborah in Kelly Kelly. Hi Deborah. Yeah, Nathaniel and Megan are ready to go. We love aeroplanes as much as we love science. Whoop whoop, exciting. Shout out from Ayana in Bluff, please, watching for the second time. Welcome all the way from Bluff. Wow, that's so far from Auckland. Hi, Nana Girl, I'm from Auckland and my name is uh, Lukeman. Whoa, thanks for the forensic science. That's okay, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that one yesterday. Hi from Finn, Seth and Grace in Auckland. Hi Finn, hi Seth, hi Grace. Hi Nana Girl, this is my third day watching from Lola and Zane in Howick. Hi, welcome back. Don't forget we're here next week too. Hello Nana Girl, Ashley Seven from Auckland, ready and waiting, whoop whoop. Okay, hi from Maya and Sophie in Auckland. We love watching. I love that you're here too. Who do we have? Couple more. Okay, hello. It says again from Carlos and Fasunda. Wow, hi guys. It's been so long since I saw you. Okay, last one. Scarlet in Tapuki. Welcome. We're going to do more shout outs soon. Good evening from Ruby at Ruby D and Evan. Hey, nice to have you on the show. We'll do shout outs soon. But first, let's talk about equipment. Let's get all the things that we're going to need for today's experiment. So, we'll start with the dangerous stuff. You're going to need some scissors. Get some scissors. Make sure there's a grown-up to help you. You're going to need some sticky tape because we're going to do some sticking. You're going to need a ruler because we're going to do some measuring today. And you are going to need something to catapult, either a rubber band or an elastic band. Or if you don't have one of these, maybe you've got a hair tie that you can use. Grab one of those. And then you're going to need a weight. Now your weight can either be a paper clip or blue tack or plasticine. If you've got some or some Play-Doh or something, we're going to stick that to the front of our plane. You're going to need one sheet of paper. You don't even need a whole sheet, you just need a little scrap. So if you've got a bit of scrap of paper, grab some of that. And you're going to need some card. Now it doesn't matter what type of card you use. You can either use some thin card if you've got some thin card or some cereal box card if you like your cereal or you can use some thick corrugated card. Doesn't matter. Just grab some card. Your card is going to need to be 12. I did say I'd bring pretzels. I couldn't find any pretzels. I will find pretzels for peckers before the end of this series though. I tried to find pretzels yesterday. I couldn't find any. Maybe I need to make a giant pretzel. And that's what I'll do with my weekend. Now, I recently had my vaccination and watching this is making me happy said Lucas. Oh Lucas, I am so glad. So anyway, I'm waffling about pretzels now. That made me think about that. Mm, I think I'm hungry. You're going to need some card. Any type of card will do. 
as long as it's 12 centimeters. A little scrap of paper. You're gonna need something to cut those things with. I suggest some scissors. You're gonna need some sticky tape. You are going to need a ruler to measure. You are going to need some blue tack or paper clip or plasticine. You're gonna need an elastic band. And the thing I forgot to put on my list, but it's obvious now I look at it, you're gonna need a pen or a pencil so you can draw the thing that you are measuring. Go grab all of those things. And while you're grabbing them, let's take a look at some of the videos that have been sent in overnight. And what colours were they to begin with? Uh, orange and black. And what colours came out of them? Um, yellow? Yellow and pink. And blue came out of my black. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Thank you for, for helping me make this windy. Now I've got a good idea how to spin it. We put it this way and then we spin it around. Goodbye. This is my fingerprint and my little sister's fingerprint from today's science experiment. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Dover. It's so nice to see you again. Also, Zach, what a great idea for spinning around. I really like that. Thank you for sharing your videos. We've got more videos to share. If you want to share your videos or your photos, get your grown-ups to email us. They need to email us at videos at nanogirllabs.com. That's not that link. No, that's how you win a competition. We'll try this again. Videos, <laughs> videos at nanogirllabs.com. We're not going to have a link for you right now. Um, in the meantime, we're going to get started on our experiments. So we're going to start with our piece of paper. You're going to need your piece of paper you're going to need a pen and you are going to need a ruler. So let's start with that. Um, we are going to measure. So I want you to measure with your ruler. Can we go to our top down camera, please? I want you to measure 16 centimeters along, 16 centimeters by eight centimeters. In fact, let me do it this way. I'm going to do my eight centimeter. It doesn't matter which way you do it. Here's my eight centimeters. And then I'm going to do my 16 centimeters up here. So there we go. 16 by 8 centimeters. Oh, thank you for the awesome experiment. You love the fingerprint making. I love the fingerprint making too. Did you find anybody in your family that matches your fingerprint shape? Peckers looks as cool as your, he does look a course assistant. I like having peckers. So as you can see, I've got a 16 centimeter line this way and an eight centimeter line this way. So it's double. When you've drawn that out, I want you to cut out this rectangle for me. 16 by eight. If you can't remember how to send us your videos or your photos through that email, you can always send them through our Facebook Messenger or we have an info at nanogirllabs.com if you want to do it that way. But otherwise it's videos at nanogirllabs.com and we'd love to feature your child in a video or a photo. Okay, so how are you doing? 16 centimeters by eight centimeters. I'm gonna wait for you to catch up because I know that you like to do this at home with me. So I'll give you a couple more seconds to catch up. Now, while you're catching up, remember a standard paper plane looks like this and you would help it to propel forwards by using your arm to throw it this way. What we're going to do is we're going to use the power of kinetic energy and potential energy. So if you take an elastic band or a rubber band and you pull it backwards, don't let it go, you can feel it stretching in your fingers. And that's because rubber bands and elastic bands are made up of long chains, but these long chain molecules like to curl up into balls and be really tight together. But if you want them, you can imagine them a bit like uh, noodles or spaghetti, all rolled up. But as you stretch the elastic band, they all stretch out and get longer, but they don't like being stretched out. They like being curled up. So as soon as you let that force off, they go straight back into being curled back up, which is why your elastic band, as soon as you let it go, wants to go back 
to just being this size. So we can use that potential energy of stretching them out and then wanting to stretch back into being curly to give us the kinetic energy or the forward force that we need. How are you doing with your, have we, have we all cut them out, our rectangles? Okay, let's now move to our top-down camera. I'm gonna take your rectangle, I'm gonna make it go, well, it doesn't matter which way. I want you to fold it so the two long ends come together. Fold it in half so that the two long ends come together, like that, make a nice crease. And then you're gonna fold it in half again so the two long ends come together. So you're gonna fold it into a thinner rectangle. Let me just show you again. So you had your eight centimeters by 16 centimeters. You're gonna fold it in half once and then you're gonna fold it in half a second time. Okay, now from the top, I want you to measure three centimeters. So here's my ruler, and I'm gonna measure three centimeters. Does this take a long time? Mm, it's gonna take as long as the show because I'm gonna drag it out. So it's gonna take a 30 minute show, but no, if you're just making this at home on your own, it takes about uh, maybe three minutes, four minutes. Okay, so here's my three centimeter line. Has everybody drawn their three centimeter line here? When you draw your three centimeter line, I want you to take your elastic band and put it over the top like so. Now grab a piece of tape, get it ready. You know how I like to have it ready on my knuckle. You're gonna fold down this line that you've just made and trap your rubber band on the inside. So I've made a bit of a, a loop here. What are you making? I'm making a catapult plane Chardonnay. It's nice to have you back. You were back every single day. And then I'm going to tape it. So you can see that I folded my paper over and I've trapped my elastic band in here like so so that I have my long piece of paper that's been folded over and my elastic band is in there. Okay, so while you're catching up with that, you should have an elastic band trapped in your folded piece of paper. Let's watch some videos that you've sent in. Let's take a look. Emily and Cam, that looked like a lot of fun. Also, Macy, that was a ridiculous leaf blow up for your fan. Well done there, everybody. That was pretty cool. Should we do some shout outs while you're waiting to catch up on this? Has everybody got their hook and their elastic band ready? Let's do some shout outs. We have Nathaniel and Megan ready to go. We love aeroplanes as much as you know. Siren. Hi, Megan. Hi, Nathaniel. Who else do we have? Hi from Hayden, Caitlin, and Jess the dog. Oof, we love the show. Thanks, Jess the dog, for watching. I wonder if Jess the dog can help with our catapult playing today. Hi from Isabel, six from Sandringham, uh, Sandringham even, in Auckland. Hi, Isabel. Uh, love your live. Second time watching. Boop, 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 boop. It's about the swim read and Caden. Hey. Hi from Storm in Auckland. Hi, Storm. Uh, Cara and Sophie. Hi, Cara and Sophie. Uh, hi from Kayla in Hamilton. Just got home from school. So excited to see our experiments. Oh, I'm so glad you rushed home from school to see this. Hi to everybody who went to school today too. Hopefully it's been good a couple of days back. Hi, Nano Girl and Peckers. Oh, you got a hello, Peckers, from Maddie. 
Hi, Maddy. Thank you, Maddy, for the video too. It was so nice to see you. Hi from Stella and Lillian. Hi. Oh, hi, Nana Girl from Journey. I saw Peckers on the way. Did you have a good day at the school today, Journey? Journey's gone back to school. Hi, Nana Girl. I'm Alex. I'm seven in Auckland and I met you at Camp Quality. Oh, Alex. That's so nice. Camp Quality was so much fun. Thank you for having me there too. Okay, we're on to the next part. We're going to need our piece of card. Remember, it doesn't matter whether it's thick card or thin card, as long as you've got some card. Grab your card, grab your ruler, grab your pen. We are going to make an equilateral triangle. So an equilateral triangle is a triangle that has the same side length all the way around. And our side length is going to be 12 centimeters. So top down camera, please. We're going to do a 12 centimeter base. So draw a straight line. In fact, I'll start from the bottom because it's easier. That is 12 centimeters, like so. So here's my 12 centimeter line. And then halfway through that line, what's half of 12? Half of 12 is six. I'm gonna draw my halfway line in the middle. And then up from there, I'm gonna draw a 12 centimeter line dot at the middle. That's the peak. <laughs> oh, you love Pecky, Pecker's safety classes. Well, Pecker's is being science trained. And then you're going to join the dots together. So now I have a triangle that has 12 centimeters, 12 centimeters, and 12 centimeters. Did you see how to do that? Shall I go through that one more time? If you know how to do this, carry on. I'll show you again on a different piece of paper so you can see. Um, let me do it on my card. So this is a cardboard. This is a cardboard. Well done. This is my cardboard. Okay. So we are going to do 12 centimeters on the bottom. Please slow down. I'm doing it again so that those of you who are going, I'm going to fast forward, you can see it again. So 12 centimeters, make a mark on the bottom, 12 centimeters either side. Find the halfway point, which is six centimeters. Make a little dot from that little dot. We're going to make a dot 12 centimeters up. So now I've got 12 centimeters, 12 centimeters, 12 centimeters. And then I'm going to draw a line between the top dot and the end dot. And now I have a triangle that's 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters. Hopefully you could catch up on that. Now, when you've drawn your triangle, you're gonna go cut it out. So grab your scissors, remember that they're sharp, so if you've got thick card, this might be tough, and then cut out your triangle. Again, if you've only got thin card, that's fine. This works with all sorts of card. So I'm gonna cut it out there, and I'm gonna cut it out here. And I should have a nice equilateral triangle. Equilateral means equal on all sides, and this is 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters. Perfect. And that's different than an isosceles triangle. Oh, I've got stickers on the other side of mine. Okay, so now you have a triangle and you have a folded piece of paper with an elastic band. You're gonna to need to decide, and Mustafa is loving it. I love measuring to do. So lots of measuring with our ruler today and lots of calculations, like we calculated what was half of 12 or 50% of 12, which is six. And we've made sure that they're all the same, 12 by 12 by 12. Now I like to, uh, Pecker's fact, he's not the smartest unless it's science, that's right. Pecker's is a total science buff. So you wanna decide which is the top of your plane and which is the bottom of your plane. So I'm gonna decide that this, any of these points, because they're all the same, can be the top, but I'm gonna make this the top of my plane. So I'm gonna draw a little mark here so I know that this is the pointy front where the nose is. And then if you want, you can draw two eyes on the top of your plane. When we measure it like that, the tall sides end up being 13 centimeters. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Mine isn't working very well either. You just sort of want to get them to be 12 by 12 by 12. And if they're 13 by 12, as long as they're equal on both sides, it's not going to matter. The whole point is that you're making a cool triangle shape. And I just like using my ruler to measure. 
but I am not very good at cutting them out live on camera, so mine isn't gonna look very uniform in its shape. But you can see I've got two eyes and a nose on the front. I think it looks a little bit like a mouse. So this is gonna be the front and the top of my plane. Now what I want you to do is on the front and on the top of your plane, know where that is, and then we're gonna turn it over. So can I have my top down camera, please? I'm gonna turn, so here's my nose, here's my two eyes. This is the front top. I'm gonna turn it over and this is the underside. I want to add a little bit of weight. So you can either add a paper clip to the front like this, or if you don't have a paper clip, you can add some blue tack or some plasticine to the front. We just want to make the weight of the front a little bit more than anywhere else. This is gonna change the center of gravity. Remember we talked about the center of gravity before, which is usually in the middle. I want to push the center of gravity towards the front of the plane. So if you've got a paper clip or you've got some blue tack or some plasticine, just stick it on the front nose of your plane. Now turn your cardboard upside down. And then here's what you wanna do. Grab your sticky tape. Now watch carefully in the top down camera. I want you to turn your plane upside down. So I've got my face on the other side. I want you to line up your elastic band, your rubber band to be close to the top. And then you should have a little bit of paper sticking out of the bottom. When you're happy, it's down the middle on the underside. I want you to stick this down with a few pieces of tape, like so. So just to show you again, I have stuck my paper down here with a bit of tape, making sure the elastic band is on the underside of where my nose is. So if you look at this, I now have the front with a bit of weight, and I have my underside folded piece of paper with my elastic band hook here. Okay, I'm gonna let you catch up on that because that was quite a few moves. And in the meantime, it's gotta be time for a Nano Girl joke, hasn't it? Okay, let's take a look at the Nano Girl joke of the day. What is it called when a giraffe eats a toy jet? What is it called when a giraffe eats a toy jet? What do you think? What do you think? It's called a, a pain in the neck. No, a plane in the neck. Ah, ah, ah. Get it? A plane in the neck. Do you have a good plane joke? Is it better than my joke? My joke was pretty sucky today. I bet you could do way, way, way better than that. Now, if you're struggling with this, because it is a complex build today, if you just go to nanogirl.co and visit Nanogirl's lab, in our flight module, you will find catapult plane. In fact, just Google catapult plane by Nano Girl and you can download the instructions that will give you the step-by-step -step instructions if you're finding this really hard. So don't worry about it. Um, uh, you like my joke? Oh, thank you. They're all laughing at my joke. Has somebody got a better joke though? Plane in the neck? I don't know if that was so funny today. Um, so I'm just going to let you catch up a little bit more. I tell you what, should we do a few shout outs and then we'll think about launching this plane. Does anybody else want to shout out today? Let's have a look. Hi to my friends at Pine Hill School, room 14, love Mila. Oh, that's so nice, Mila. Thanks for sharing the hi to everybody. Hi, I'm Paige. I'm from New Zealand. Where in New Zealand are you from, Paige? Let us know where you're from. Hello from Amelia and Harper in Christchurch. Hi, Amelia. Hi, Harper. Hi, Nana Girl from Stan Marsh and Eric from Auckland. Hi. Shout out from Nora and Shira in Auckland. Hi. Who else do we have? Good afternoon, Nana Gill. That's very official. Maddie and Chloe here from Glenfield in Auckland. We love your show. I love you guys too. Thank you for tuning in. Your jokes are hilarious. Thank you, Fiona. I'm glad somebody likes the jokes. Um, okay, any more shout outs? No, that's it. So don't forget, if you want to send us your videos, very easy, just go to videos at nanogirllabs.com, send us your photos, easy peasy. Also, if you wanna enter our competition, we have a competition to win a Nano Girl birthday party where Nano Girl comes to your house and has a birthday party. We do science birthday parties and if you wanna be in to win, all you have to do is enter your details into nanogirl.co forward slash win, nanogirl.co forward slash win. At the end of these lockdown shows, we're gonna pull a winner out and let you know who's won, super easy, and then a Nano Girl scientist will come to your house and do a party. That's pretty cool. Hey, okay. 
in the meantime, we're going to get this ready to fly. So you're going to need to be coordinated here. I'm going to show you with my top down camera first. You're going to put your thumb into the hoop here, not so high up that your thumb is all the way at the bottom, but just at the tip so it can fling in a second. You're going to pull that back and then I want you to hold on to this little tail that you've made. You're going to pull it back and you're not going to let go yet. You're just going to feel how stretchy it is. Now these plain catapults that we're making, did you know that there are plain catapults in real life? And so before you let go, don't let go yet, we're going to do this all together. There are actually plane catapults in real life. They're on aircraft carrier ships. And the reason being is a plane on an aircraft carrier ship actually doesn't have a very big runway because a ship isn't very long. So what happens is they catapult the plane on the ship so that it can take off on a very, very, very short runway. Now, their plane catapults don't look like these. These are kind of cool. Theirs are much bigger. But still, planes do have catapults, which I think is very cool. And our plane is 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters. Not very big, maybe 13 centimeters on the edges. But the biggest plane out there is the Gerald Ard Ford US aircraft. It's a plane carrier and it carries 75 planes inside the one plane. 75 planes inside one plane. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That's a lot of planes. More, they were much bigger than these planes too. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to convert our potential energy into kinetic energy. So when you stretch the rubber band out, that creates potential energy. It has the potential to fly. But no, 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 not, we're not blasting yet. Hold on, we're almost. Uh, but before you're going to do that, you're going to let it go and get used to that stretching and the unstretching of the molecules. And then in a minute, I know, we're almost going to fly them. But before we do, let's put our planes down and let's play what's under Nana Girl's microscope because I know you love this game. And we're all going to launch our planes together at the end. So today on my clip on microscope, I have looked at something that's on my table that I've used today close up. What do you think it is? Take a look at this. What does that look like? Does that look like anything that you might recognize? What do you think? It's sort of a tan color, brownish. It's got some dust on there that I can see. Who can guess what's under my microscope? It's a funny shape. It's a long shape. Uh, what else? How else can we describe it? It's got, it looks like some bubbles little air bubbles in it. Any ideas? Sellotape is a good guess. It's not sellotape, but I do like that guess. Very close. And I am using sellotape today. What else do you think it might be? What else are we using in our ingredients that this could be? Oh, Angelica. So Ashley says rubber band. It's definitely a rubber band. Can you see? Elastic band. Well done, Manny. You can see, oh, lots of you. Ethan, well done. It is an elastic band. Yay, you all got it right. Well done, Journey. It's an elastic band or a rubber band. In fact, why do we call it an elastic band or a rubber band? It's actually cool. Oh, you're all so smart today. <laughs> Isabel says, Aiden says, you're all super smart. It is a really, really easy one today. It's a rubber band. So the rubber band actually comes from the rubber tree. It comes from the sap of the rubber tree. That's why we call it a rubber band. And the sap of the rubber tree, the rubber tree is actually called ficus elastica. Hence why we call it elastic band too. So we get the sap out of the tree and then we convert it with a little bit of sulfur and something called vulcanization into a rubber band. All right, final set of videos from you and then we're gonna launch. Let's take a look at what's been sent in over It's getting caught on your chin! <laughs> Yay! Don't suck the bubble in! 
Amazing, I love your videos so much. Don't forget to keep sending in your videos. That's videos at nanogirllabs.com. Okay, final bunch of shout outs and then we're gonna launch our planes and then I'm gonna live you, give you the weekend to recover. We're gonna be back on Monday. So who do we have? Hi, Nana Girl from Jaden in Auckland. Hi, Jaden. Hi from Ollie in Kapiti. Hi. Hello from Amelia and Harper in Christchurch. Hello. Hi from Ariana and Zara in lockdown. I'm in lockdown too, so hi. Uh, hi, I'm Paige. I'm from New Zealand. Hi, Paige. Hello to my friends from Pine Hill School. Maddie from Money Hunger says hello. Hi, Maddie. A uh, shout out, oh, gone Nora and Shira in Auckland. Okay, I feel like we did that one. Hi, uh, Luca from Wild Pub. Hi. Hi from James, who's four, and Frankie, who's two, in Oriwa. We've been looking forward to your video all day. Well, I'm so glad you made it here. And oh, we're back every day at 3 30, every weekday. Anyway, hi, Nana Girl. I love planes from Austin, who's four, in Tor Bay. Hi, Austin. Hi from Ariana and Zara in level four lockdown in Auckland. Hi, I'm in lockdown too. Okay, are we ready to launch our planes? Okay, make sure you don't point at anybody's eyes. Remember, you're going to put the elastic under your thumb, you're going to hold on to the tail bit and then you're going to pull it back and let go! Pew! <laughs> Mine went really, really far. Did yours go far? How far did they go? Could you measure how many steps they went? So if you like the catapult plane, if it catapulted away because that potential energy turned into kinetic energy, try building different shapes and sizes. So we did one today that was 12 centimeters but what if you made one that was gigantic? What if you made one out of different types of card? What if you made some out of normal card? Ah! Or not normal card. I, my catapult plane just got catapulted at my face. What if you made it out of thick card or thin card or giant or tiny? Could you make the world's smallest catapult plane? And then when you make them, why don't you measure? Oh, you hit the TV, says Blake. Uh-oh. Why don't you measure which one goes the furthest? And then you can show me which one has the best design journey. I'm so glad yours worked. Thank you for joining us after school, or if you're on lockdown, thank you for joining us this afternoon. 12 feet, that is miles away. Super far, like five feet. Why don't you do some measuring and then let me know your results by sharing the videos. It worked, it flew across the room. Thank you, Nana Girl from Blake and Sophia. If you wanna keep in touch with us, don't forget to subscribe, it's as easy, nanagirl.co forward slash subscribe. We'll tell you everything we know when we know it. That includes every morning giving you a list of ingredients for the experiment you will need for the afternoon. We're gonna keep running these shows while we're in level four in Auckland. Right now, we know that's till Tuesday at least, so we're back on Monday and Tuesday next week. On Monday, we're gonna be learning how to make spinners. These are like helicopter spinner things that we throw up and they spin on the way down. You're only gonna need some paper, and some tape for that. So hopefully I will see you Monday. Have a great weekend. Fill it full of science and full of catapult planes. Good engineering today. See you all soon.